Now for this part of the question, we're given that curve C is such that x equals 2 sine y, and we've got to show that dy by dx is equal to 1 over root 2 at the point P, where P has coordinates root 2 pi upon 4. Now to find dy by dx would normally be fairly straightforward, but we've got a slight problem here. We've got x in terms of y. So to find dy by dx, we've got to call upon a particular principle. We've got to remember this rule, that dy by dx is related to dx by dy, by the fact that it's 1 divided by dx by dy. It's as if we were to find dx dy and just invert it. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to start by trying to find dx by dy and then we're going to think about how we can get dy dx from that. So we start then with dx by dy. So we differentiate 2 sine y with respect to y and if you differentiate sine y you're going to get cos y. Now at this stage you could go straight into this and basically say that dy by dx, let's just write it in for you, would be equal to 1 divided by 2 cos y. And then all you've got to do is substitute pi upon 4 in for y and work out what your result is going to be, either on a calculator or just do it by hand because you should know that the cosine of pi upon 4 is 1 over root 2. Well, I'll leave it up to you to do it that way if you like or what you could do is just simply at this point say when y equals pi upon 4. So when y equals pi upon 4 dx by dy is going to be equal to 2 cosine pi upon 4. And if you're using your calculator, make sure your calculator is in radians mode because you're dealing with radians here. Pi upon 4 is an angle in radians. Pi upon 4 is the equivalent of 45 degrees. So if you're in degrees mode, you could type in the cosine of 45 degrees. Still get the same answer. Okay, so if you do that, if I left you to do that on your calculator, you should find that you get root 2. And then all we need to do is just apply this principle and we can therefore see that dy by dx will equal the reciprocal of this, that is 1 over the square root of 2. OK, hope you got that and that brings us to the end of this part of the question.